Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 20th, 21st, and 22nd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Geminis. Hello, my Geminis. How are you? Well, this is the weekend reading. I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks, my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'm pulling one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So yes, we are living in interesting times. So let's see what we have going on for my Geminis. Now, I am an intuitive channeler. What that means is I open myself up to my higher power spirit and whatever the message is that comes out, needs to come out, it comes out. Okay, let's go on. We're going to cut the decks. Deck. Three cards face down. The middle one is reversed. That means pay attention, stronger energy for my Geminis. Now we do start a airy season and there is that Saturn thing going on in Aquarius. I think that's the 22nd. Okay, first card, weekend, Geminis. Seven of fire. Okay, you're, oh, you know, you're going to be feisty this weekend. You're going to be fighting something. You're going to be going after something. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionate burning, but it's also determined. And this is, you're going to be, I don't know what this is per se, but you are going to be feisty and you're going to be on your soapbox and you're going to be telling the world or whoever is in your world what needs to be told, okay? So so just be aware you're going to have some really strong, you're, and you're going to get out there. You're going to, you know, I, I don't necessarily mean that you are going to leave your house. I'm not telling you to do that if you but you are going to be letting your voice heard. This is a weekend for you, my Geminis, to let your voice be heard, okay? So, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. Your next card reversed, here we go. The King of Water. Oh, and not only, you know, not only are you gonna let your voice be heard, you're letting everything out. You're letting your soul out. You're letting your, this is like, there's there, there's no filters here. Now, maybe you need to be careful a little bit about doing that. I'll give you a piece of warning on that. But the king of water, water is emotional, fluid, energy, ca cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's like, not only, and so, I mean, okay, so are you going to be screaming this out? Are you, it could be that you're going to really be telling somebody how you feel. It could be very positive and very cleansing. It could be very much, this is what I feel for you. And, you know, and I want, I want to know how you feel for me. It, but it could also be very much like, this is how I feel for you. Okay. Or this is how I feel about, a, you know, about a situation. There's going to be a lot of passion and emotion this weekend. Okay. Trust, King of Water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So in some ways, it might be you making a declaration of, again, like I said, a declaration of, um, to someone like, hey, we need to step, we need to go another step in our relationship. But I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a little broader or a little bigger than that even, though that's big enough, you know, that's big enough. I, you know, you, again, you might, I feel that soapbox, that soapbox, you getting on your soapbox and you letting it out. So are you an advocate for somebody? Uh, are you one of the, you know, are you an activist? Act, you know, it, it, it's that type of energy that you're going out for a cause. There's a cause that's very dear to you and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna put it out there. Last card here is balance. Okay, so now, what this is all about, Libra energy. Now, I know your Gemini energy, air energy, but this is about, you know, having a little bit of restraint, not necessarily, you know, overwhelming, because sometimes when you overwhelm, um, you know, your message isn't heard. So this is about keeping some balance in whatever this energy is, whatever this is that you feel so strongly about, whatever this, whatever your soapbox is about, this is about keeping some balance, okay? Okay, 
The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. And that's the other thing too, is wait for the right time in order for you to speak what you need to speak. But there, there's a lot of, um, I mean, there again, this the activism, um, you know, um, soapbox, getting out there, you know, and you're going to feel that you have to say what needs to be said, and it might need to be said. However, remember, keep it, keep some moderation on it too, okay? Keep, there is a need to keep it balanced. You may, because of, you know, because you feel so strongly, you may be, again, this is another thing I'm feeling, is tipping your cards, okay? You're showing your hands. Those are some, you know, poker, poker things. I don't play poker, but you know, showing your hand and you don't want to do that. I do, I feel like you don't want to do that. You don't want to tell them everything, okay? Okay, so let's go on and we're going to cut the cards now. So yeah, this is, you know, I mean, the passion that you have, wow. Okay, this card face down, reversed, here we go. The sun, the sun, Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So whatever this is that you are broadcasting, that you are putting out there, that you are on your soapbox, again, keep a little balance on it. Keep a little restraint on it. Don't give them everything. It winds up really good for you. It winds up, I mean, you know, an inspiring success. And what that, I mean, does that mean that your message is totally received? I know, but it means that you get your message through, okay? And that's really, you know, I mean, that's that's the energy for you, my Geminis. It's interesting. So, my Geminis, if you enjoy my readings, remember, like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Geminis, know that you are loved. Be safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.